This is the new 20 watt fiber and 20 watt diode laser combo from Xtool, and it is massive. Take a look at the size difference between that and the original F1. And no, this isn't just a larger F1 despite its name. This is the F1 Ultra, but there are some unique differences from the original F1. This is a fiber laser that uses an infrared laser as its laser source, and the diode pumped fiber laser serves as the gain medium. That's all nerd for, it produces deeper engraving and cutting at the same power level as the diode laser like the S1 and the infrared laser like the F1. Other fiber lasers on the market are much more limited on the engraving area, but wait until you see how you can batch engrave some stuff without having to stop the machine. This is a Galvo machine, and it's a lot different than many of the other lasers you may have seen, which operate on a gantry system where the laser head moves around the work surface. So instead of moving the entire laser head around, this system uses tiny, super fast mirrors. These mirrors are controlled by devices called galvanometers, or Galvos for short. By tilting these mirrors really quickly, the laser beam can be directed exactly where it needs to go. And here's why it's awesome. Because the mirrors are so light and fast, the laser can work much quicker than any other system. It's also compact, and since only the mirrors move, the whole system is smaller and takes up less space. But in this case, that doesn't mean that the size of your engraving is limited. Since the laser head isn't moving around on a gantry, it produces a really high quality engraving. Compared to flatbed systems, which move larger parts around and they're a little bit slower and less precise, the Galvo system is much more accurate. So why would you want a fiber laser and diode combo like this? Fiber and diode lasers can engrave different types of materials, so the F1 Ultra takes care of two categories, where many of the other fiber lasers out there can only take care of one of the categories. The fiber allows you to engrave on all metals like gold, silver, copper, stainless steel, brass, and a ton of other materials. You can also engrave plastic and slate. Diode lasers, on the other hand, engrave wood, acrylic, glass, rubber, uh, and fabric, and, and a few other materials. If you were to buy another fiber laser, you would likely be limited to just the materials for the fiber, but the F1 Ultra opens up a whole new set of possibilities. So on the metal engraving, the original F1 could really only simulate a 3D engraving because it was more of a surface etching. But since the F1 Ultra uses fiber, you can actually engrave into the metals. So take a look at this. I'm planning on doing a follow-up video on this laser where I'll be testing out the functionality and lots of other tests as part of my official review. So here's where I need your help. What type of test would you like me to use in my upcoming review video? Leave a comment below and give me some ideas on how you would use this laser and I'll put those to the test. One thing I'm gonna to look to test out is the auto conveyor. While the size of this work area is actually quite larger for a fiber laser, this one is actually 220 by 220 millimeters, which is almost double the others that are out there. The work area can be extended with the conveyor. This thing is really cool and it opens up the possibility to batch out some engravings because the laser also comes with an integrated camera. Most fiber lasers are focused manually and positioning your materials can be really challenging, especially with round shapes. Integrating a camera into this laser was a really smart move for Xtool. Of course, the company integrated lots of other great features for this machine, like the enclosure to protect your eyes and flame detection, which will shut off the machine if it detects a fire. Besides safety features, there's this really cool touch screen which helps you with batch processing and lots of other tasks and it has a foot pedal that lets you work uninterrupted and helps with your workflow. My initial assessment of the machine is it's gonna get a lot of use in my shop and it replaces a couple of other machines and so that's a huge win. So do you need the F1 Ultra and what's the big difference between the F1 and the F1 Ultra? Besides the size difference, having a camera is a huge selling point to the Ultra because you can better align your work and use the autofocus. I'm gonna be testing out the conveyor in my next video, so I'll make sure to report back on that, but it looks awesome. The fiber laser is gonna allow you to do much deeper etching on metals compared to the F1. So if you're looking to make challenge coins and jewelry, the Ultra is a perfect machine for that. The Ultra also opens up the possibility to do curved engraving without using the rotary, but you can also use the rotary with the machine. 
If you have a small workshop and you don't need any of the upgrades, you can probably get by with the F1. But I'm telling you that as soon as you see all of the cool projects you can make with the F1 Ultra, you're going to want to make the upgrade. I'll leave the decision up to you and I'll put links to both machines in the video description if you'd like to check them out. You're going to want to check out my full review. So if you're watching this video after that video is out, it'll be right here. But if not, check out this other video on the features of the software that this laser uses. Thanks for watching.